Welcome to the prayer channel. Today we are praying prayers of restoration for personal failures we may have experienced. Have things not gone quite according to plan? Have you experienced personal or moral failure? The good news is that God wants us to recognise that we are overcomers through Christ Jesus. Today we're reading Proverbs 28 verse 13. It reads, He who covers his sins will not prosper, but whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy. Lord, we thank you that you are inviting us today, Lord, to consider and to remember and to deal with, Lord, failures that we may have experienced in our own personal lives and in our own personal walk with you. Lord, where in our walk we haven't been maybe as diligent as we should have been. Lord, we had great intentions, but we've seemed to have fallen off, Lord, or not been acting or walking with as much fervour as we should have. Lord, we just ask for your forgiveness today. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you're inviting us to reflect on where we've fallen short and to understand that you are God and you can plug the gap if we are open and we are honest before you. Lord, you said you'd be faithful and just to forgive us our sins if we confess them. And so, Lord, as we come before you today, full of reflection, Lord, and full of analysis of our own past, Lord, I pray, Lord, that as we bring these things forward, Lord, that you would enable us, Lord, to receive your forgiveness, forgiveness for where we know we have definitely not done what we should have done, definitely being cowardly, definitely not being bold, definitely being lazy even in moving forward with what you've called us to. Lord, where you have given people visions and dreams and clear blueprints, Lord, of what they're supposed to do and they've gone the opposite way out of fear. Lord, we just thank you that right now, Lord, you are releasing us. Lord, you're releasing us from all sense of condemnation, all sense of personal failure, all sense of devastation, Lord. Lord, thank you that you hear our prayers, Lord. You hear our cries. Lord, you know us. Lord, you know our thoughts even before we think them, Lord. So you know how these various failures have made us feel. Lord, you know the impact they've had on our lives and where they've stopped us from moving forward. So today, Lord, as we look at this scripture and we remember, Lord, that once we confess our sins, Lord, before you, instead of covering up and pretending and lying to you and lying to ourselves, Lord, Lord, that you would have mercy on us. Lord, would you have mercy on us today? Lord, we understand that sometimes things don't go according to plan. And Lord, we see that throughout the Bible in so many places, Lord. But Lord, we also understand that to fail is not necessarily being a failure, Lord. It's about what we do with that failure. It's about whether or not we try to understand, try to recognise and move forward from that failure instead of letting that failure define us. Thank you that we are defined by the fact that we are children of the Most High God. We are children of the Most High God. And Lord, you have made a way for us, Lord, and that's our focus. That is ultimately our focus. So Lord, where our minds may have drifted off, Lord, or become consumed with the sense of not being good enough or not being quite adequate enough to move forward, Lord, we just thank you that you're severing that thought in our minds right now. You're severing all association of failure, all association of being downcast. And instead, Lord, you're calling us to rise again. Lord, we thank you that Jesus rose again on our behalf. He rose again. He rose again after three days, Lord. And Lord, where many doubted, Lord, he appeared after with holes in his hands to over 500 witnesses to declare and to show and to demonstrate that what he said while he was on this earth was the truth, that no one can come to the Father except through the Son, our Lord Jesus. So Lord, as we focus on the truth of that, Lord, we recognize, Lord, that as you say, Lord, our days are like grass, Lord, and the most important thing is to think about our eternity and think about the bigger picture of everything. So Lord, help our failure to fade into insignificance in the face of looking at what you have done on the cross for our sins. 
and on the wonderful gift of eternity that you've promised each of your believers, Lord. Let us look to that. Let us look to this failure as a small blip in our lifetime and a tinier blip in terms of eternity, Lord. Lord, thank you that you are bringing and helping us to see things in your perspective. Help us to see things in your perspective, Lord. And Lord, where we have tried to cover up our failures, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would convict hearts today. Lord, that you would help us to come forward, to come clean, Lord, to recognise that it's okay to confess, it's okay to recognise, but the failure does not define us. And Lord, where fear and anxiety have paralysed future movements and future endeavours. Lord, would you release your people today, Lord, to move again as fast as they were before, to move again with the new wind, Lord. Lord, would they mount up on your eagle's wings, Lord, and would you help them soar again? Would you dust them off, Lord God? Lord, would you pick them up? Would you strengthen them? And Lord, where fear has come in, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you say that you've not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So Lord, we thank you for the sound mind that you're pouring over us today. Lord, we reject failure. We understand that we may have experienced it, but that failure does not define us. Thank you that you lift us up. Give us a new chance, Lord God, just like you did, Lord, when you invited us to experience your salvation. Lord, you gave us another chance. And so for every failure, Lord, we thank you that we can always look to you for another chance, a new start. Lord, give us a new start today. Help us to see our failure in the way that you do, Lord. It's a blip in time and there's so much life ahead. There's so much eternity ahead. So Lord, we thank you for all you're doing and all you're encouraging us to leave behind as we pray over our failures over the next few minutes. Lord, help us to just release each failure to you and to walk away free in the name of Jesus. Amen.